Well, in the coming days, we will find out the future of our stay at home order here in Minnesota with Governor Tim Walls announcing whether he will extend, modify or let the order expire. But tonight, one world renowned expert, Michael Osterholm, warns any debate we're having about what to do day to day or week to week is really missing the point. When I sat down with him earlier today, he wanted to warn us and to emphasize we need to remember we are only in the second inning of a nine inning game. Well, more than 60 days ago, this virus was not even in the top 100 causes of death. As recently as the last two weeks, this has been the number one cause of death in this country. And so think about all the pain and suffering, death and economic disruption that's occurred with 5% of the population having been infected. What are we going to do to get through to the 60 or 70 percent? So far, much of that pain and suffering has occurred in long-term care facilities. In fact, 80 percent of deaths in Minnesota are in long-term care. But world-renowned infectious disease expert Dr. Michael Osterholm says that will soon change. It won't continue to be nursing homes. It won't continue to be meatpacking plants. It won't continue to be prisons. We're literally burning those locations out in terms of cases. But the point of it is it's going to infect many other Minnesotans across the board. Where we're at right now is we have to understand we're going to have a lot more transmission, whether we open up now or not. And we have to deal with the economic disruption. It's critical. But at the same time, please do not see this as an end. We're talking about balls and strikes in the second inning. So what would your guidance to Governor Walls be? The plan we need right now is I just want to understand how people are making a decision about when do we release the public? How do we release them? What does that mean? I'm getting a lot of feedback from the public right now is they're just confused. You're the expert, so what would you say? Actually, I just said it I, earlier in this interview. I want to see data where the virus activities are going down, that we actually have fewer hospitalizations, that we have the protective equipment for the healthcare workers that we need, and we have surge capacity in our hospitals as suddenly cases accelerated. Do you see this scenario happening anytime soon where we can open up more cautiously? We're going to have many openings and closings over the course of this. That's the challenge we run into is everybody wants a white and black answer here. It's not going to happen. It's going to get more complicated as time goes on. If you think today is complicated, I believe it is nothing compared to what it's going to be like in the upcoming months to year. When Dr. Osterholm says we can't make this outbreak political, and he says he believes by the end of us, we will have no more red states or blue states. We will simply have COVID states.